They look identical. The average person on the street will think it's real oxycodone. Not even experts can tell the difference. It's kind of like a game of Russian roulette. You don't know what you're going to get. One pill may have zero fentanyl in it. The next pill could have upwards of 100% uh, fentanyl. In fact, nearly 30% of pills seized between January and March of this year contained a deadly dose. Even a trace amount can kill you in 10 minutes. Initially, they're being produced from China. China would be sending uh, the fentanyl directly here to the United States. People would be pressing their own pills here. Uh, and I think the Mexican drug trafficking organization saw the market that here in New England. The shift began a few years back. Thousands and thousands of pills are being produced and are coming up this way. In the past, we'd see the fentanyl coming up in kilo amounts. Special agent in charge of the DEA in New England, Brian Boyle, says the Northeast is seeing a greater surge because of its vulnerability right now. I think we have a major, major opioid problem here in New England. Um, the appetite for the opioids, are, uh, everyone is um, using them here. And if you think your family, your child won't be affected, the DEA says it's time to change that way of thinking. It affects all walks of life. We have to really start talking to our kids. Because if they aren't buying them on the streets, they're buying them at parties. We're live in Boston, Julie Lonchek, WCVB News Center 5.